Canadians overwhelmingly would accept and work to accommodate their child if they showed an affinity for a gender identity other than the one assigned at birth. Across all of these age ranges, about 70% of Canadians say that they would work towards affirming their child's gender. And this flies directly in the face of the narrative that the majority of Canadians are against trans identity. With 71% of Canadians agreeing that transgender people face a lot of discrimination in their daily lives, and we can see where the 19% is, to 63% of people agreeing that acceptance of transgender people is a sign of social progress, once again, we can see where the 28% is. And about 60% of people also agree that we talk about transgender issues too much in the news media. But the reason that we are talking about transgender issues so much in the media is because there is a small subsection of the population that doesn't want trans people to exist. We talk about it in the media and we talk about it on social media because we have to defend the rights of all Canadians. And we have to use facts to disprove their narrative because about 70% of Canadians would support their child in their gender identity. With 13% of people saying not sure, which really only leaves 18% of the population being filled with hate. And that 18%, they're the minority. Even in one of the largest political parties in this country, the people filled with hate are the minority. But that doesn't make Canada some woke Marxist paradise. When you look at how do you feel about the trend of using gender neutral terms when talking about women, birth, and motherhood, 67% of Canadians think that it's a bad thing that devalues female identity. And that's okay. We can have these disagreements. We can have these conversations. Because this is a conversation that is normal to have. But wanting your child to be happy and to live a healthy life where they feel affirmed, that should not be a conversation. So for the 19% of you that wouldn't accommodate your child's gender, sure. Do whatever you want. When they become an adult, they'll stop talking to you. But that does not give you the right to impose your hate on other people and on other children. You're saying leave the children alone? Sure, leave them alone. Stop pushing anti-trans hate and rhetoric.